Welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 53. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely co-host, Gabrielle Fergala. Hey. And Noel Winters. Hi. Noel, why do you keep trying to talk over Gabrielle? Because I think that she's a mean person sometimes. Okay, true. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, in our BS episode... Right. Someone said that I was really pretty. Wait, so let's just... Um, <laughs> Let's just go back a little bit. So our okay. BS episode, uh, we have a bonus podcast called BS, Not Team Mom Related. We're on episode 13 right now. And you can join our Patreon at patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Teen Mom Trash Talk. And if you join at the $2 level or up, you get our bonus podcast. Yes, that's right. So Okay, so that's called BS, Not Team Mom Related. Sorry, go ahead, Noel. So we were recording our BS podcast. Right. And someone said that I was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she was asking me something about the right, wedding. And the Jennifer. look on Gabrielle's uh-huh. face, like she could have projectile vomited in my face. Wow. Noel, the look on your own face. I was surprised it took someone that long to recognize my beauty. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think you're both fucking crazy. <laughs> the look on her face was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, God. Well, I thought it would take longer for someone to recognize your beauty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And it's funny because like, we actually do love each yeah, other. Honestly, That's thank God I'm perfect. Anyway, <laughs> we're here to talk about Teen Mom 2 Season 8, Episode 29. Okay, relax with the episode 29. Give me a break. Getting ridiculous. Also, now they call this season 8B. Do you know that? Yes. Yep. Ridiculous. Uh, so it's called Trouble in Paradise. Javi travels to Miami to see Brianna. Kaylin and Leah go to Hawaii. Chelsea and Aubrey meet up with Taylor and Adam. Taylor and Adam's daughter, Paisley, and Nathan and Barbara discuss Janelle. Okay. Let's start off with Brianna. Okay. Javi shows up to Shirley's surgery. Right. Do you think that it's because Javi hates when anyone films without him? Yes. I think that Javi was jealous because of Dre going there. Right. Uh, so he yeah. was like, I need to be there right away. Javi? No, Javi is, a, is an attention seeker. I think that he's gotten sicker in the head yeah. over the seasons. Like, mm-hmm. they're, like, I look at him now and I'm like, he's like a sociopath. No, like, he's there's got, something you could see the controlling his on his yeah. face. Yeah. It's very, very weird. Like, he looks at Brianna, like, like with his eyes. She like, ate that shit up. Oh, that she he showed up. 100%. There. Ugh. And she's I'm like, tired I'm of her smack saying, you in your face. Right. I'm like, oh, please. But I'm tired of her being like, oh, fake relationship. If it was fake, you wouldn't be crying in the bedroom no. to Shirley. No. Give me a break. Poor Shirley is probably like, I just got my fucking ass Is that expanded. what she got? She had. She got her ass done, yeah, right? She got I, a, she got I, a, no, she did. I watched it. It was video. just her tats? It was just tits? her. Uh, no. Just her tats. Just her, just her ass, not her tits. I don't think so. Just her ass. But she's probably like, I have to fucking get my ass done. Now I have to listen to these two jerks She's in argue. her pink nightgown. Oh, my God. So oh, yeah. she was wearing a house dress okay <laughs> that was so i thought she was my nonna oh my god right me too. I, she looks like a grandma. I know so here's the thing right there's um i listen i get it you're in surgery like you just want to be comfortable but like there are other options surely. right you didn't have right. to go to kmart and get we're that. teddy <laughs> noel makes fun of me all the time we travel a lot together and i like to wear like a sleep dress i like to wear a cotton sleep dress so does my mom it's literally black all of them are black v-neck cotton like usually t-shirts or tank top dresses like nothing there's They're nothing to them They're nightgowns. Daddy. a lot of them are not even nightgowns a lot of them are just dresses that you wear outside but i refuse to be disgusting you know <laughs> And every time I do this, and I was like, oh, you're putting on a teddy for me? <laughs> Fuck you, Noel. We went to Walmart last time, and she got like 12 teddies. I did. And I'm like, but What's she- a teddy? <laughs> a teddy is like lingerie. Like a negligee? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, when I was very little, my grandmother, she used to love dressing me. Yes. And she used to always buy me all this stuff, and she would buy me these nightgowns, and she would always call them teddies. <laughs> So I think that that's what her, she was priming me for pedophilia, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, speaking of pedophilia, oh. I don't know. Yeah, I know. This crazy segue. <laughs> there is a guy on Facebook here in New York. Okay. He lives in Queens. And uh, he's this guy. His name is Tony. Okay. And he is running his very own To Catch a Predator. Really? Stop. Yes. From his Facebook I'm going to give you his information because you have to watch his videos. The people yeah. not in Queens are going to be like, what goes on? It's insane. Okay. That's uh, crazy. Really insane. So on Facebook, you could find him at Team Loyalty Makes You Famous. Oh, it makes you family. So that's, again, that's Team Loyalty Makes You Family. Uh, and it is, he, has, he posts the videos and he has a decoy. 
okay. that pretends to be a little girl mm-hmm. and he's either a 13 year old girl 14 year old girl or 15 year old girl and men of all ages and they come to meet and he's there that is crazy and he videotapes them coming to meet the girl but obviously it's just him did you ever see the movie hard candy no. no. With the chick from Juno, Ellen Page. Oh, I think I have, actually. That was really good. She catches a pedophile. That's yeah, what it reminded I, me I of. I do remember yeah. that. So, yeah, guys, follow this guy. He is absolutely like that's wild it's wild but he was a victim of abuse when he was younger anyway sorry that was just like a little baby side note okay perfect. okay that was great <laughs> Thank um, you. i love that yeah it's okay. a fun little i'm gonna watch. go watch videos of this you should um so shirley you have a teddy on <laughs> i mean shirley <laughs> has on a teddy shirley also did you see when they uh they zoomed in on her purse in the back seat was that Shirley's fake Louis Vuitton purse? No, it was Brianna's, um, I think. I don't know. I just, uh, honestly, I was watching her teeth chatter. She was shaking. She was trembling. Well, when she was coming when home. When she was in the front seat. It's, she yeah. probably lost so much blood yeah. because she went to Dr. Miami. Oh, Dr. God. Miami. Yeah. Dr. Miami. But I gotta say, she looked all right. She didn't look like she, she did. Was... She looked fine, but she only got one thing done. That's right. why. That's, right. She only got her butt done. You know, Brianna is going to be in a different boat. Yeah. So uh, Devon is watching his own child. Oh, okay, but his own child looked so happy. Okay. Oh my god! I have okay. never seen Nova look so happier. happy. Me either. And do you think it's because he was wearing an entire king size bed sheet on his head? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. What was with that? Well, I think he was because he, he doesn't have a purse, so he puts <laughs> it on top of his head, and right. then maybe they went to have a picnic, so he just said, <laughs> untie it, uh-huh. and then he lays out the sheet, and they sit down and have a picnic. So there's cheese and crackers, oh. and bologna. Yes. Yes. No wonder exactly. she was so excited. I uh-huh. would have been. Uh-huh. I've been excited too. Yeah, I would have so been. Headdress of cheese. If I knew yes. my dad <laughs> had a headdress of cheese when he took me to the park, uh-huh. I would have played like I <laughs> me meant it. Too. Yep. So I think that's what that was about. <laughs> okay. Um, now. They bring Shirley home. Right. And Brianna opens the door for her. Are they in an Airbnb? They are in an Airbnb, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was just wondering. Because okay. that hallway was fucked up. Yeah, so they're in an Airbnb. And um, did anyone catch Brianna's ass in those leggings? Okay. Listen. How could you not? Did I take screenshots? Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, of course I did. Uh, are we going to use them for the it, cover of this? Yes. Yeah. It's she the looks hips. fucking horrendous. It's the hips. It's the um. It's the profile it's from the, the back. Well, that's yes. the thing. It doesn't even look bad from the front. It's the back. It's the hips. Oh, there's boy. something wrong there. No, there's something. It's disfigured. Yeah, it's t- terrible. It's I don't uh, get it. really bad. So Javi's there, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, Shirley's dying. Whatever. Anyway." Uh huh. Let's chat in the living room. <laughs> right. This is about me. This is about Javi. This is not about Shirley. Of course it is. I, I actually feel bad for Shirley. She was like sitting inside. Like, oh my God. And then, then, so he tells. And they had two like twin size beds. Like, it was one was an weird. air bed. It was a very weird yeah, setup. Because, yeah. Well, it's an Airbnb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're just kind of, you know. Speaking of, of you have to together. book yours. Oh, with the llamas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm doing the so one. a little Do backstory it. on that. Okay. Uh, Noel's wedding is in Kentucky, <laughs> and Gabrielle is going to stay on an alpaca farm. Yes, I am. In Airbnb. Airbnb. Is that the one that was we like, passed? No, I, I was don't like, think it's so. a, I was like, it's in a basement of a house. She's like, you're staying in the basement of a house? I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's a woman. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's yeah, also no, an alpaca farm. Yeah. So it's fine. I mean, how could it oh be wrong? Do you think I could ride an alpaca to your wedding? No, you cannot ride it. You could ride it to my wedding if you want. Sure. I mean, stop with the rules. Oh, I just didn't want the animal to die. No offense not yeah, for you no. i don't think alpacas Honestly, are right like, do I mean, what you want alpacas. do what you want just don't wear heels you know <laughs> can i park <laughs> can i park my horse by the venue yes you can it's park, a barn so yeah you oh can park God. your car your horse your alpaca your llama your camel whatever oh wow whatever you decide to bring there wait my friend joel is you coming. you would make it about you yeah. and ride a camel of there course <laughs> I am. so my friend joel is, is coming with me supposedly to uh kentucky oh, is your boyfriend coming too <laughs> no <laughs> and um she and she what you call it she asked if we could ride a cow to the to the do wedding. it yeah it's gonna take forever to get but there yeah it'll take honestly cows it would take not. as long as riding a turtle there oh my god like, <laughs> <laughs> are cows slow yes. very because a cow very. can handle my weed no a cow can <laughs> There are cows <laughs> next door to where we're yeah. getting married. You're, gonna, you're basically going to sit on top of the cow while it eats. Yeah. I'm going to pet so many animals. Yeah, yes, why not? Are. I might be late to your wedding because I'm going to be busy petting animals. That's fine. I will be too. That's fine. I mean, I'll probably be late too. It's okay. fine. You're going to be late. Matt's going to be early. Um, <laughs> so anyway, Javi's sitting in the living room of the Airbnb yes. telling Brianna, I have someone else saying that they would move 
uh, to Dover. For she me. must feel great now watching that. Oh, I know. Now that she's not. Now that the yeah. so he was referring to Lauren, yeah. who is now pregnant, and he is basically telling Brianna, "But no, I didn't mean that. I like her. I'm just saying I have other options, right? Like a plan B, because right. he can't be alone. It's really sick, right? So now Shirley's like, "Oh God, I <laughs> just had ass surgery, right. and now I gotta." Deal with this and Javi. I'm so she's like, eating she's fucking like, Javi, cracker, get right? in here. Javi, get in here. I know I just vomited and my ass right. is leaking. Can you sit on the other bed so What'd I can yell say? at you? It's just wet. She kept saying how wet her ass was. <laughs> oh, she no. was just Stop. like, oh, it's, just, it's just wet. It's just so wet. And it's like, Bleh. Yeah, gross. <laughs> so Shirley is like, Javi, are you fucking kidding me? Right. I like Shirley. I'm bleeding. Uh-huh. And this is what I have to deal with because uh-huh. you are so selfish. Anyway, Javi's like, hardcore trying to get back with Brianna. Yeah. It's and actually Brianna, embarrassing to watch. It makes me like Brianna because she's not having it. She is strong. Because most girls would be like, all right. You know, like she's like, fuck this. Yeah. I don't need this. You know, this yeah. guy's crazy. He's clearly a loon that can't be alone. You know, bye. Yeah, no. That's ridiculous. A very interesting looking chapstick you got there. What is that, Gabrielle? <laughs> this is a um a a Blistex Ooh. Ultra Rich Hydration mm. SPF 15. Do you like it? I just got it this morning, but okay. yes. I got oh. it um, before the man yelled at me in CVS <laughs> parking lot. Gabrielle had an altercation in CVS. <laughs> um, guys, let's move on to Kale and Leah. And we pieced them. We, I put them together this week just because all of their things were together. Mm. So their friend, her friend Ciara is in Hawaii. Needs a shower. Uh, needs a shower. Needs a toner on her hair. Okay, her oh my Ciara, god. Her friend Sierra annoyed me to no end. I know. Really? Why did you but, hate her so much? Okay, I don't know if it was like her voice, like her attitude, the fact that like she was so against ever. Like she'd be like, "Oh, Corey's a dick. Oh, Chris is a dick. Oh, the, like I, I just, think she was just going along with whatever." Yeah, they said. I just felt like she was trying to be too relevant. I think her voice was just annoying, and that's what but annoyed I feel you. like she tried to make herself super relevant. And it annoyed me. Right now. uh Kaylin mentioned that Chris asked where Lux was. Right. Mm-hmm. Lux was at Bone. Okay. Okay. That was a little weird to me. I don't think that was weird. She didn't trust um, Lux I, to be with Chris. No, I wouldn't trust Lux. I to wouldn't be with either. Why couldn't, why couldn't Joe be with Lux? Now you're going to make your ex boyfriend. I, I, mean, I think Joe would be totally okay with yeah. that, but Chris would probably not be okay with that. I don't you know, know if Chris had a say in no, this one. I don't think Chris does. But you know what it is? I just, Kaylin has so many f- new friends all the time. It's like, true. how long did she know Bone for? Okay, but also. Because Bone also. Gabrielle. What? If you were like, Tracy, I'm going to Hawaii with Noel. Can you watch my baby? I'd be like, fuck you. I'm going to Hawaii. Right. Right. Well, that's why does true. this rando get right. to go to Hawaii with you? And I have to stay home with the baby. It's true. Yeah. But, where did this friend come from? But yeah. Bone also couldn't like get the baby to stop crying when Kale was in New York. Like she had to call Kale to come and like help with the baby. Understood, I don't know. I, I don't feel know. like I feel like she's always around Lux though. Yeah. Kale no, I don't her. think it's a big deal. Yeah. I just was concerned at first. Where's Lux? Because I'm like, Lux doesn't have other people. Right. And then I found out that anyway. Uh, so Leah starts talking about how. <laughs> Gracie punched a girl because they were making fun of Allie, Aaliyah, or Gracie. I'm not sure. Go whatever Gracie. Her, whatever her name is. Right. Also, Gracie's just a bitch, though. She probably punched a girl and was like, oh, yeah, she was making fun of my sister. That's right. Yeah, I don't think she was sticking up for her sister. I don't think She's so at mean. all. I think Gracie makes fun of her sister. So do I. Yeah. And also, like behind closed so doors. the conversation. I wanted to see Kale's galaxy fucking bathing suit while oh, well, this conversation it's on Instagram. was going on. Yeah, it's okay, on Instagram. It's from it. Torrid. Yeah, it's from Torrid. She talked about really? it. Really? Okay. Yeah, and you can see it on her Instagram. So the funniest thing was when Kale and Leah were talking about Allie and Aaliyah and Gracie and all her right. kids that are named the same thing. <laughs> they were talking in different names than Corey calls them. And right. Like different names. Like, right. stop naming your kid the same thing. Will we ever know their real name? Can I see birth certificates? Uh, or Aliana she, and Aaliyah. Oh. Those are the two names. Aliana and Aaliyah. Aliana yeah. Grace and Aaliyah Grace. I guess. 
Yeah, I think they're both middle name Grace. Yeah, and then one of them's Grace and one of them's Allie. But really, either one of them could be Grace. I'm going to go back but, but to 16 and Pregnant and see what they named right. them. But Aliana and Aaliyah. Yeah, but they just say Allie and Aaliyah. They never say Aliana. Right, but that's her yeah. name. Yeah. Also, Corey calls them differently than the opposite uh-huh. of what Leah calls them. So, I mean, of course, maybe she doesn't even, maybe she's not even sick. Maybe she's just so freaking confused at <laughs> her name. Yeah, that's a that true that She's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I have to go to sleep. I don't even know. You know, know what? Kaylin seemed like she was being like a legitimate friend. Well, she I liked how she was like, you should talk to like other yeah. moms that go through this. Yeah. And like, Kale, I don't think is a bad no, friend. No, because Kale's a real mom, though. And that's the yes. difference yeah. between the other moms yeah. is that Kale is like, yeah, I have three kids. Like, I know how to do this. Like, that's like the. the that's what she was made to do is be a mom. Yeah, She's yeah, clearly a, good a great mom. mother. Yep. Yeah. So, um,. Chris asks to see Lux while they're away. And it is the second time in seven months that he's asked to see him. And then he put him in a ratchet room. He put him in a trap house. (laughs) He did. It was like a room with no furniture and just Wait, are we allowed to use ratchet? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We might be racist. We'll just say he's in a trap house. Okay. Shoulder shrug. You know what I mean? He was in a trap house. Uh, did you and and they're talking about how he's an IG dad because he posted a picture right of Lux when he was like a right. minute old in Kale's bed and made it seem like it was like yesterday right but right. also it's like it's an embryo we can tell that the baby's an embryo right <laughs> Kale's so pregnant yeah <laughs> right that was just your picture it's a sonogram of Kale. picture right. of Kale's bed <laughs> he posted a picture of a sonogram picture and he's on like happy seven months Lux <laughs> <laughs> last time I saw you TBT. <laughs> Uh, I also think she just hates him though because he doesn't want to be with her. Exactly. I think so too. Yep. Now, did you see them like lowering themselves into a cave to take some photos? And okay. then coming right out, not even wet. They said they were going cave swimming. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Did Who are you talking I was oh, like well, sweating is na- is watching like that. Well, watching it now and thinking about. I went in a cave. I went um, nope. cave nope. Uh, hiking no, no. in Ecuador. No, nope. I wouldn't do any of I that. I went inside of a cave. We went like deep into the cave. And how did you feel when you were doing it, honestly? No. Honestly, I was a little scared. Um, I had a few knots in my stomach. But like a regular amount of scared, not like an irrational, obviously. No, I mean, now that I saw Thailand, I'd be like a irrational amount of scared. But it was cool. It was like, you hear like the little like... Nope. <laughs> no. Of the Here's water. The thing. I can't go on the Belt Parkway without an exit. Right. I don't want to go on the subway. You can't put me in a cave. You can't put me in a cave. That's like... Yeah. Oh no, 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 no! I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it at all. I, like I got I didn't so mind nervous yep. when they were like, I was like, oh, they got they're out. Yeah. Oh, please. Thank uh-huh. you. I also went near volcanoes and stuff. Like, I went volcanoes. See, I'm not afraid of volcanoes. Oh, it's outside. I'll stand on a volcano rim. I'll let it, er- <laughs> right. I'll let it erupt on me. Yes. Oh, good. I'll get a lava burn before <laughs> for, uh, going to a cave. Agreed. That's totally agree. <laughs> no, don't put me in a cave. Don't put me in a cave. Do and not when, put me in a cave. When my mother told me the story about the boys from Thailand, I wanted to faint. I was like, can you please stop telling me the story? What story? Hi, Noel. Wait. Wait. That's why you keep saying Thailand. I don't know okay. what it is. Hey, no, Wait, well, I just on. got really scared by the dog because there's don't not be usually one here. Okay. Hi, Noel. Wait, hold on a second. She so the know. biggest news story For the past month, like month uh-huh. is that a whole soccer team uh-huh. of, of, of boys of ages boys, 12, 12 to 16 with their 25-year-old coach, was, were, they were trapped in a cave in Thailand for 18 days with no air, with Did no food, water, other? or oxygen. No, they almost died, and so they had to get saved. They had Navy to get rescued. Seals over the and course a Navy of like seal three died days. trying to rescue them. How did they no, find well, out they were there? Um, they went missing, and then they found them in the cave. Okay. Did they get them out? Yes. It was a very but someone died was, getting them. Yes. yes. It was a very big mission. They had to put each boy in scuba gear and take him out and one by one, and it was a five-hour scuba. Yeah. A oh five my hour swim. god! Well, where have you I been? I know none of this. And let me tell you something. I watch the news. I no, you read. Don't. No, you don't. I I do. You obviously no, you don't. don't if you don't do know. You this. Understand? Have you? You've never been in Marty's apartment. There is nothing else but news blasting twenty four seven. But you don't watch it. Okay, I do. You couldn't have. You didn't. You didn't watch the news for the last okay. three weeks. Okay, that's not true. No, well, this true. was all every waking minute of the news was this. I don't understand why because I read and everything. Now, what do you read? You read a book. No, yeah, I read uh, the Guinness Book of World Records. You don't read the okay, newspaper. Okay, well, it's clearly no. I, I don't read the paper either. So what do you read? I read on, I like Reddit online, and I haven't seen no, it anywhere. It's nothing on World News. Nothing. I'm not nothing even on World News. I mean, read it. You're, look for yourself. I'm not making it up. Countries, Why would I lie? Countries were coming together to try to save these. There boys. was a billionaire that was building. Did a any submarine. of them die? No, but a, a Navy SEAL died trying to rescue. No, but them. I'm saying none of the boys no. died. 
what were they doing there? Okay, so they were hiking with their coach. And it was like a and it was induction. Fine, and then there thing. was a monsoon and they got trapped. Oh, that's so scary. Just saying. That is so scary. Yes, it is. So, but on. that's not why I don't want to go in a cave, though. I don't want to go in a cave because even before... <laughs> that, of course that's not why because you know about Originally it. before this, I didn't want to go in a cave. Also, uh, so back to Leah. Leah is talking about how Allie keeps throwing up and I don't want to hear about okay. it anymore. Who are you telling? Oh, but, yeah, so but did you she's throwing she up for vomiting? For vomiting. Yeah, I didn't want to. Like, but like for days and you're just not going to... You're like, I don't know. Question mark. She's mm-hmm. sleepy and she's throwing up for six years. What do we do? Question mark. Yeah. Anyway, Sierra's hair color is yellow. It's the um, color. It's, all of their it's hair. It's a crayon. It's a she prime color. Skeevy. All of know. their hair looked bad. Yeah. Also, they mentioned that there are no predators in Hawaii. Okay, that's not true. That's just that's just an ignorant statement. Why would they like? That's a crazy thing. There are sharks everywhere. Right. There are snakes everywhere. Right. There are tarantulas. No. Oh wait, they meant predators like animals. Yeah. Or like sexual predators. Gabrielle. <laughs> you are you you know how someone reviewed us on itunes and said that someone on the podcast was slow now we know who it is we know who it is now we know who it's you but there's both of those in hawaii okay also leo and <laughs> horseback riding in shorts that must be bad move so painful. i would be so chafed oh my god oh, i was like imagine insane i know did no one tell her to wear pants <laughs> who doesn't wear even pants? kale was like my vet i because I, I was they were like oh horseback riding was so tiring Tracy i was, was like, an equestrian i was i was an equestrian rider were. i really was um and i was like why has no one said anything about how painful it is to ride a horse afterwards yeah. and then Kale was like, and my vagina still you numb. like can't even walk no. i want to tell you i just realized i used honolulu sun hand sanitizer wow and we're talking about hawaii noelle's taking out all of her bath and body i was stuff looking as we speak. i was looking for a lotion if you really wanted to know because they get very ashy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh i was looking for it but i couldn't find you it. were looking for a lotion i was okay. looking for a fur baby kale loves skydiving she i mean could she tell us more i know she loves it i don't love it i She's don't like, want to do soon it i'm gonna be able to jump by myself I yeah, you could do if you do so many hours, you can do it yeah. by yourself. You don't have to yeah. do a tandem anymore. Uh, a friend of mine actually did that, and my uncle wrote a book on skydiving. It's like a self-help book. Yeah, people love it. Um, well, and Kale it's said like, her has life to do with skydiving. Well, let me tell you something. I loved watching them do it. Oh, I loved watching. I mean, I, I might do it. I might do it. I yeah. will never do it. I'm I scared. would never go bungee jumping. No, I rather I, I went bungee. I went like in that thing where they put you in a ball and then they a bungee cord like shoots you up into the air. I don't like that. I went in that. Oh, that's never, like Action Park or something. Yeah, but I would never go skydiving. I went that's cl- not bungee I went jumping. I did it in wild in Wildwood. In Wildwood, trash New Jersey, <laughs> where the poor people go. I went cliff diving. That was very scary. <laughs> Gabrielle, you look like Javi. You're, You're just <laughs> looking at me. I blinked frequently. Right. Listen, guys, we have two more minutes. Let's just talk about Chelsea real quick. <laughs> right Nothing okay happened. taylor and paisley went bowling stop trying to make half sister happen okay paisley looks just like taylor paisley's adorable taylor looks like she had a meth problem she suddenly. did so what the paisley. hell happened they look her? the same no no but taylor was cute oh yeah I but taylor looks different. exactly yeah oh I think she doesn't look the same no, at all she looked like no. pale she got older. And, like, weird no she know. looked like she was on meth like through the mill yeah she, looked like she went through the mill. oh wow okay. yeah maybe maybe uh the single mom life isn't really mm-hmm. doing for her, well for her. Not for her uh when watson was in front of like the hand blower oh god how cute his hair was oh my god. love it um aaron's adam's parents are apparently like not the greatest right i'm shocked i mean duh right uh, also, the only thing that happened in this whole episode was that uh, anything like we're talking about is that Paisley asked right. Aubrey if Cole was her dad. Yeah. Is that your dad? I mean, obviously not Mo Ron. Okay, but also they okay, don't. She's calm but, down. But she's they like don't, four. I but, they that, but they know that they're t- sisters. Right, but they don't They don't understand. correct her. They don't correct her. No. And they don't right. understand like, hey, you and aubrey have the same dad like that is not basically chelsea is like this is aubrey's dad cole. right but th- this is what i've been saying for years now it's not listen cole is it's great still but still regardless her adam's still her dad adam is still her dad the end and everybody gets so mad when when this is brought up but adam is your dad listen maybe he was just a sperm donor fine but her and paisley share the same dna because yeah. of adam not yeah. because of cole the end yeah, I get it. Agreed. Correct the child. Agreed. Uh, let's talk about Janelle. 
Oh. So David's mom doesn't want to drop do the drop offs anymore. AKA Janelle's not allowed to drop a- off. Yes. AKA. Kate also, Kaiser. her friend did not seem like she right. To Janelle drop her won't off. take Kaiser alone, or isn't allowed. She's That's not allowed, allowed to. Yeah. He's not allowed. Let's get real. Uh, huh. Nathan has the trashiest haircut I've ever seen in my life. Does Nathan have any shirts that he the, does not modify? Oh my god, no. <laughs> does Nathan spend more money in scissors or in t-shirts? <laughs> He, he could, could be a make, seamstress. He could, he, make, could be. he could make a t-shirt out of all of the cuts. I'm going to send him anything out of a t-shirt. Do you know I'm going to send him all my shirts. Like, give me a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> He'll give you like little like cuts in the side. I like it. I like okay, it. Okay. I know that I'm jumping ahead. I'm going to go right back. But his girlfriend also looks like fucking faces. And not great. Oh my yeah, God. Not great. What the fuck is her problem? So the haircut. Nathan's mom. <laughs> Okay, Nathan's mom has to pick up Kaiser, right? right. Is that part of the agreement? Oh, yes. That was that's so weird though. She okay. has to be the supervisor. Okay, fine. But then why doesn't Nathan go in the, in same, the same car? car with him? He has to have his four hundred pound pit bull in the car with him. Clearly. Oh my god, is that what happened? Yeah, you didn't see, didn't see the pit bull? No, he no. had a pit bull the size of the dining room table <laughs> in that car. Even that's the why. studio table. Because he would eat Kaiser in one fell swoop. <laughs> that's why. He's, Kaiser's Kaiser. like there are much scarier things in mommy's house. Don't even worry Listen, about it. Listen, the pit bull was a Adorable, but he drove there with a car. With uh, you have to go back and look <laughs> oh at it. God. This pit bull him. was gigantic. Was it like the dog from the Sandlot? Yeah. How did Except I not he was pit white? Bull. Did you ever see the Sandlot? No. Okay. Yeah. No, he was white and gigantic. He was oh like a God. Great Dane pit bull. Oh, I probably just thought it was one of his new girlfriends. Yeah, probably <laughs> looks the same. <laughs> Oh my god. Kaiser of, was so cute when he was in the car with Janelle's friend though and they were playing. Oh my god, he was. Oh my that god. Was he was so like, Thank cute. you so much for not letting David beat me on the way to get yeah, picked up by my friend. Thank real you for dad. letting me poop Aww. when I have to. Right. Pee when, pee I, when I, have I have to. to. That mm-hmm. made me sad when they went mini golfing and Barbara called Nathan. Yeah, so yeah. Nathan apparently uh, Nathan doesn't feel safe having Kaiser with David, and Don't I totally understand him. it. Uh, so Babs calls Nathan to tell Nathan that Kaiser has been spank uh, that David's been spanking Kaiser. Here's the thing: it's not David's place to spank any child. Okay, and no his. one is placed to spank any child. Right. Also, so apparently the story that Jay said was that Kaiser said, "I have to pee," and David said, "No, you don't." Mm-hmm. And Kaiser pulled down his pull-ups and peed on David. I mean, that's really funny. Yeah, yeah Kaiser, really funny. that's right. Oh, I don't have but to. But it's pee? a shame he got beat after. Right, but here's the thing. The problem with David is he's always telling Kaiser he doesn't have to go to the bathroom. I feel anxious talking about this. Let mm-hmm. a fucking kid go to the bathroom. Do you know how many times my niece is three? Do you know how many times when she comes over my house, she's like, I have to go pee-pee. And I'm like, Sienna, go pee-pee. Like, you're allowed. Like, you can go pee-pee. I, so you don't you don't spank her? I don't spank I'm like, Sienna, you And you, you know don't what? tell her no? No. Oh, weird. Do I want her to pee here's on me? Here's the thing. I mean, she's going to. I'm a control freak. You're a control freak. Tracy's a control freak. Go ahead. We are a bits of control freak because there are times in our lives, I can't speak for Gabrielle, but Tracy and I, there have been a lot of times in our life growing up, we did not feel safe. Yes. And that's why we're a control freak. And I am very scared what Kaiser's going to be like because he cannot ever feel safe in that house. You have to think that kid probably feels on edge every single day except for when he's in daycare. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to spend his birthday in daycare. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, don't put me on the boat. Put me in daycare. And it scares me because I look into Janelle's eyes and they're completely empty. They're dead. Mm -hmm. And she is dead inside. And it's like, I'm going to let this man abuse my children, but I don't even care. And sometimes I wonder if if he's not allowed to care. But sometimes I wonder if he has her drugged up like a zombie not to care. I don't know. Well, Nathan mentions um, to Babs that he wants them both to get drug tested. And he said it's not because I think Janelle is like really on drugs. Well, no, it's psychological testing. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. But he thinks that it's David that's more but the here's problem. But here's the here's the thing. David is insane. You can't even have a conversation with no. David without him acting like a crazy person, yeah. shooting guns out in their yeah. land and stuff. At least Nathan, listen, Nathan has his issues. You could have a conversation with Nathan's him. Nathan's cool. Now, I, I like love Nathan. Nathan. I He's do too. been I my like favorite. Him a lot. But I love that he said when Janelle was with me, she was really into fitness. Yes. He yes. did. Yes. He talked about how she was a chameleon. Yep. And how whatever she whoever she was with, that was what she's Does into. He listen to yep. the pod. He said maybe. So he huh. said when she was with me, she was really into yep. fitness. When she's with David now she's into all this country stuff yep. shooting yep. guns and country music it's and so it, yep. true though I had a friend like that once I had a friend that no matter who no matter who she was uh-huh. uh, the person that she hung out with the most she changed into you did have a friend like yeah. that I know exactly what you're talking and, about you know, yep. whether it was um, you know comic books or uh, smoking pot yeah suddenly yep. she did the cosplay right so yeah. it was like it was just really weird because when she was staying out with me she hated pot uh-huh. she hated pot she hated pot she started dating a guy that smoked pot and she had to smoke pot every day yep 
And it's like, I don't care what you do. Honestly, I don't care what you do. But just be, be yourself. Who you yeah. Are. Yeah. But do so it because you want to, not be because somebody If you like to it. smoke pot, then smoke pot. Yeah. But why did you not want to smoke it? Right. Like, it was just so strange you to me. You become a little bit like the people who you're around, which I understand, but you don't just turn into No, I person. think that you become the uh, more the people that you're around because people expose you to other things. And it's usually in a more positive way. Yeah, like like if you're into a certain kind of fashion, Gabrielle, yeah, maybe right. you showed me this kind of fashion that you like, and I'm like, oh, cool. Sure. I like that, too. I looked up Gabrielle's flip-flops on Nordstrom. Right. Actually, they didn't have my size right now, but the ones you have on right now. These are I not from them. Nordstrom. These are from Kohl's. They're $7. Oh. That's why you couldn't find them. That's why you couldn't find them. Okay. No, no. They had ones that looked just like it. Okay. Well, these are Lauren but. Conrad, and they're so cheap. Oh, okay. Well. So there you go. You can get okay, them. Okay. Well, I love them. Um, But you see, what that that's something. Yeah. Like, you guys yeah. are now going to have the same flip-flops because you're friends, and Exposed that was something you that you something. showed. Yeah. Right. But you don't change your entire life. No, Janelle does. You didn't does, rip though. Gabrielle's face off yeah. and put it onto yours. Right. And, you know... It, and start watching Jeopardy every night. Right. I don't bring a big <laughs> gulp funny. and a Hershey bar every single time I come because <laughs> Noel does. Exactly. <laughs> Somebody said commented on the picture that yeah. I reposted. They were like, I see, there I see that gulp. big gulp, Noel. And it's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> you know what? This is a great time to just take a little pause and say that we have celebrated this week. We celebrated our one year anniversary. Oh Fuck yeah. God. I cannot believe that we've been doing this podcast for one year. A year. Nuts. This has been a really great yeah. year. It has been amazing. I mean, not really like at all. Not like for life, but like for, life, <laughs> but like for the <laughs> podcast. For the podcast, it's been yeah. fantastic. Um, let's just take a little. Let's just let's just break from the from the talk right now. Okay. Um, oh, also, by the way, Jace <laughs> calls Babs a motherfucker all the time when he comes uh-huh. back. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh-huh. Okay. He says the MF word. <laughs> he calls me an MF the whole time when he comes back. An MFer. Because he probably just thinks it's a nice way of saying mom. He's like, she's not my mom, so she must be my motherfucker. <laughs> he gets it confused with grandma. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Meme. Meme. <laughs> Meme, the motherfucker. I love that that's like a thing now to pick out what you want your child to call your grandmother. Yes. That's yeah. like a thing. It's what, like, what do you want to call her? What are your kids going to, what are you, what are your grandkids going to call you, Noah? Motherfucker. Uh, my <laughs> grandkids are going to call me, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Yeah. Okay. I, that's you got, I have you to, have to decide about, soon. Because I've seen some cute things. <laughs> okay. You have to decide soon. I don't know what, they're going to call my mother Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Just like you do. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So let's, let's take a little break. Okay. Um, and All let's right. talk about. Uh, I was on a super cool podcast called Butter Pop mm. recently. Yes. And we talked about Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande's right. uh, engagement, super mm-hmm. quick engagement. Justin Bieber followed suit. Yes. And got engaged to his girlfriend like one second later. He's engaged to Haley Baldwin, right? Yes, yeah. he is. That's Stephen Baldwin's daughter. Yeah. Uh, we talked about Cardi B's pregnancy. Culture, her child. Oh, my God. We talked, oh. to, yeah, seriously, huh. with a K. We talked about um, Kylie. Uh, yeah, her her yeah. ass is really real. So we, we talked about. So if you guys want to check out Buttered Pop, I was on episode two thirty. Cool, hilarious podcast. Good. They also live tweet the Real Housewives. They are into everything <gasps> Bravo. Okay, Ooh. I retweet every like all these. I do live tweeting of New York. Okay, uh, cool. So I'm gonna York. hook you guys up you with the Buttered Pop yes, people, please. and maybe you, you guys could be to. guests on their show as oh well. Oh my god, mm-hmm. we are obsessed. They're very, yes, very Bravo uh, oriented. Oh, me too. Me so too. is Gabrielle. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. We, I I basically only watch Bravo. Oh wow! I only watch like Team Mom. I watch, I watch Gabrielle. I, I watch Gabrielle. <laughs> I watch. I used to watch Gabrielle. I watch her in her sleep. I used to watch. I watch Bravo and like MTV and Food Network. Also, guys, make sure that you're joining us on Patreon and becoming a member because you get our other podcast, BS, not Team Mom related. It's the best podcast. The bonus podcast. It really is the best. It's really fun. And also you get to join our secret group on Facebook. So check that out at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Team Mom Trash Talk. You can follow me personally at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and also, this is a big problem that we're having. Mm. On Twitter, we have like no followers. Yeah, I don't get it. But we have all these fans. But a lot I of don't people, think, I don't I think don't a lot think of people use Twitter. Twitter. Okay. I don't use Twitter personally. Here's the thing. Use Twitter. Use Instagram. Mm-hmm. Go follow us mm-hmm. at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, and show us how much you love us by following us. I dare you. <laughs> oh, how about that? Okay. I dare you. You could join our regular Facebook group, Tracy's yep. Teen Mom Trash Talk Podcast Discussion on mm-hmm. Facebook, mm-hmm. and you could chat with us personally. Noelle, 
Mm-hmm. You're working on a catering company. I am. Called Full Belly Catering. Yes. Talk to us. Um, you can follow it on Instagram. Right. Um, at Full Belly Catering. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go to my website, uh, fullbellycaterers.com. Sure. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Noe underscore bear810. Sure. And if you are on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Noe Girl. You can follow our Snapchat page yeah which is tm trash talk um i'll send you some pictures of my dog cool i was logged out of it this week didn't realize it Bad girl. but uh, i'm bad on i'm back <laughs> on it's logged in for real okay so uh send me your dog i'll send you mine Ooh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> that sounds like and, a proposition uh, i am noelle winters on facebook too and you can like my catering page full belly catering on facebook awesome gabrielle you can find me on instagram gabrielle nicole x on snapchat g nicole 22 and on twitter gab nicole x oh and i'm on facebook gabrielle nicole awesome perfect guys let's talk about a little bit of gossip this week so we had ryan and mckenzie uh mckenzie showed the sonogram picture and said something her quote was happiness is homemade and to me i translated that as happiness is forced you can force she anything. She forced that. She did force whole it. Whole relationship. Uh, she's yeah. also showing her baby bump and a you lot like of people. Laying in bed with her baby bump. Yeah, a lot of people are saying people that are you are never like, see her face and her baby bump in the same picture. Nope. I mean. She didn't get a surrogate. She no. didn't get a, Listen, she's, she's trash. She's Come definitely on. trash. She's pregnant with a baby. She's probably just ashamed of being pregnant with Ryan's baby. Yeah, so she's not showing she's, it. She's like, great. Now I'm Mack truck. Big right. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's that. Um, so Chris and Kale have been showing some signs of communication. Right. And, you know, I don't think they're ever getting back together. So no. that's a mood point. Huh. Javi and Lauren. Lauren does not want to be on camera, mm-hmm. but she did move to Delaware. And she's and having, having a, boy. a boy. And she's having a boy. I feel like I knew that. I don't know why I thought I, I knew, knew that. I, I thought I knew that, too. I feel like we guessed it. That's yeah, yeah I think that because, uh-huh. like, somebody told me, they're like, oh, my God, Javi's having a boy. And I was like, I knew that. Right? Yeah. And they were like, no, they just announced it. And I was like. So where is she from that she moved to Delaware? Like, do you know? Um, oh, North Carolina? Something like that, yeah. So she wasn't too far? No, I okay. don't think so. I, I made that up, like, just right or off Or they the met at a wedding in North Carolina. They did meet oh, at a wedding. Oh, so that's I'm not what sure. I heard. That's okay. right. Okay. Uh, Kate and Ty. When uh-huh. everyone thought that they were getting divorced, uh-huh. they were separated. Okay. Yes. That. Something, yes. They said that they like confirmed that they really they were, were like, separated, on a break. but now they're back together and they're working on things. Um, Snore. Yeah, really. Yeah, Rita and cares. Randy. Randy is Chelsea's dad. Papa yeah. Randy's delicious. Lost a hundred pounds combined. That is amazing. Wow, so that's awesome. They've been working out like crazy. They're doing like Randy's doing some kind of challenge. So if you want to follow him on Instagram, cool. he's Papa Randy Delicious. Uh, and he's been really trying to get in shape. Let's talk about Farah. We have a lot to talk about about her. Uh, so she had gotten arrested last month yes. for assaulting a hotel worker and mm-hmm. then resisting arrest with the cops. She has been charged with two misdemeanors, one for battery, one for Mr. Resist- Mean- <laughs> <laughs> misdemeanors, one for battery, one for resisting an officer. Okay. She has not been sentenced yet. She yeah. Can she's be sentenced up to time. 18 months. Yeah. I hope they give it to her. To prove a point. Here's the thing. I don't oh think they God. will because I feel scared. like they never do. They gave but it to I Paris. Wish they would. Remember P- Paris Hilton? Paris was for three days in jail. Okay, whatever. They still gave her jail time that they didn't have to. Here's the thing. If Farrah at least gets a month, her it, life, it would be good for her. Guys, yeah, it would be Farrah good for her. is so unlikable that I cannot imagine she she's going to be in like country judge. club jail. It doesn't matter. I cannot imagine her facing a judge and being a person. Agreed. No. Agreed. I think that she will be so unlikable that that they'll be like, go away. You're they'll going be like, to go jail to jail for as years. long as we could possibly uh-huh. give you. We're going to give you, you because you're not a nice person. Another thing that she did, she's starting a web series with Sophia. Well, yeah, she's like, okay, so, so Gabrielle, Sophia is starting her own web series. Right. So all and by herself. Yes. Farrah said it is a it is a combination of punked and America's right. Funniest Home Videos. Right. So to set this off. Sure. Um, she did a prank. Sophia did a prank on one of her friends. Right. Farrah was like, this would be really funny if you did a prank on one of your friends to tell them that their dog died. Not, oh my God, that's not so funny. Not funny. An eight-year-old. Not so, so funny. So they funny. walked up to her house and they were like, oh my God, your dog is dead. Right. And the little girl, I guess, like freaked out or something. And right. she was like, p- and the mother was pissed that like Farrah thought of it. Right. And then like two days later, their Pomeranian died. Okay. That's so karma. her Pomeranian named Blue died. She was five years old. And Farrah decided... That they said that the dog went out the doggy door to make a poop or something and then just died. 
Like Sophia said, like the dog had no life in its eyes. Right. Like me. Like Sophia. Like me. It looked like me <laughs> right. and mommy. That's how I knew there was something wrong. It looked like me and mommy. <laughs> so Sophia and Farah are at the vet and the dog dies and, and they're, they're sitting with the dead crying, dog yep. crying on Facebook Live. It was so creepy and uncomfortable. Farah not only put it on live, she put it on Twitter. Mm-hmm. She posted the video. She reposted the video the next day mm-hmm. of them crying with the dog and, and talking about and it. And they're taxiderming him. Right. That's what the Queen of Versailles did. Yes, she sure yeah, did. She did with all her dogs. Is that oh, the Queen of Versailles? Is that the um, one where the guy was like really rich and then they yes. like, Westgate went they poor? Westgate. Yes. Yeah, and then like their house is like half roaches like, yes. everywhere. Of one of the daughters yeah. died. Okay, uh-huh. I had to watch that for a sociology class. It's yes. on Hulu. It is the Queen fantastic. of Versailles. Guys, watch it. It's amazing. It oh is, my god, it, it is really life changing. Good. So Farah's uh, dog, and a lot of people are saying it's karma. That her dog died. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. listen, I feel terrible okay. ever saying So here's no, the thing. I mean, I am a dog person. Yeah. So I think that I can speak for all dog people saying that every single, like, if you tell me that your hamster's sick, I feel like I me have too. palpitations. Me too. I have, wa- I watched this video and I felt nothing. I felt nothing. I felt not a thing. Like, not even sad. That's why I didn't watch anything. I did not feel a mm-hmm. thing. Because Farah and her daughter are such sociopaths right. that it was such a fake thing that I was like, this, I don't even... I don't know. understand. I really don't understand what happened to Farrah to I make don't know. So weird, weird. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Okay. So this week, I was a little bit bored. I was working, and I always keep the TV on when I work. Mm-hmm. And I decided that I was going to watch some 16 and Pregnant. Okay. So I watched Farrah's. Uh-huh. Straight up, Deb was like, you are not telling Derek yeah. about the baby. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. If he calls you, you tell him you're dead. Right. That's why I can really? understand her being mad at Deb. Yes. Yeah. Deb. She resents her Deb controlled it. her 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. Deb was also a sociopath. Deb was insane, insane, yeah. insane. Uh, I also watched Amber's. With Amber and Gary. Oh, that was terrible. She, get, she just almost threw up all the time. She the threw up. Episode. She was sitting on the floor in the bathroom just throwing uh-huh. up. She threw up in the hospital and then ate Taco Bell. And the nurse comes in and goes, uh-huh. it's amazing how you could just throw up and then just eat Taco Bell. And she uh-huh. goes, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> she was such a porker uh-huh. when she was pregnant with Amber Leah. Porkwood. Right. But even before she was pregnant, like she was just such a fat, yeah. round, yeah, roly poly. She was rotund. <laughs> she was definitely rotund. She was a roly poly. Um, her family was such trash and Gary was the only one that was like trying. Right. And even then you could see, cause everyone's like, Gary's a piece of shit. Gary's a piece of shit. You could. Yeah. So I'm babysitting for a dog and, and it's dog snoring story. right now. <laughs> um, but even then, like you could see that Gary was trying. Cause if you see yeah. who Gary is now and you watch that back, you're like, you always saw a little bit of hope in Gary. Uh-huh. Right. And he, he, was, wanted he was a to certified get, he nursing wanted to get assistant. out of the Oh, I didn't know that. Park. Yeah. Gary was I don't, a certified I don't think assistant. he was trash. I don't think Gary's no. trash. I think his mother's trash. Gary's mom was trash, even yeah. in the 16 and pregnant. Yeah. So I'll tell you, that was like a crazy. Um, Do you remember thing when Amber, um, her dad is her dad died, right? Yeah. He's alive now. I mean, no, no, he's not alive now. Yeah, he, he died, but then. now he's alive. Guys. <laughs> Resurrected. Do you remember? <laughs> That's part when of the gossip. He lived in like that one room with the mattress yes. in there, and Gary showed up. To and take she the baby. Choked and she choked him. Yeah. That was on that because um, that's spouse's when her, one. That's when uh, oh, yeah. her car broke down and she called yes. Gary like hours but she later. She was in that random room with the bed and her dad with his mullet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That was the Her best. dad in his leather jacket. Um, now let's get to something crazy. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I know. Ooh, yes. This is the biggest news that's ever happened to a Teen Mom franchise. Yep. Uh, so we are adding two, we as as a people uh-huh. are adding two new cast members right. to Team Mom. So Cheyenne Cheyenne is that her is name? Is she coming? Yeah. I thought Cheyenne she was Floyd. No, is coming to which one? Uh, to Teen Mom OG, right? Uh huh. And Bristol Bristol Palin, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Palin's, Palin's daughter, daughter is coming. Okay, let's talk about Cheyenne real quick. Ugh. Was not a Teen Mom. No. no. Why is she on Teen Mom? I guess MTV because MTV connected to MTV. Okay, but she's not a teen mom. It's called Teen Mom. She's not a teen mom, and she's also mean. But she goes on racist uh, Twitter rants. Okay, her baby daddy is so hot. So so hot hot that that I can't breathe thinking about it. I know, he's so hot. I watched X on the Beach on MTV. Uh I watched the first episode because a friend told me to. And because he's there. I just couldn't stop. Like, I I don't want to watch it anymore because I already saw him. I know. I know. That's enough for me. 
Bristol Palin. She has three kids. One of them is Trip. He's nine, or or she's nine. Who knows? Trip is nine. Sailor's two. Atlee is one. Here's the thing. Those why are the worst names I've ever heard People are in of. an uproar about her joining, and I don't know why. I think it's fucking awesome. Okay, at least she was a teen mom. Yeah. She's mental. People so she, are more in an uproar because of who her mom is right. rather than, who like, cares? But just know this. She had her own reality show that was for one season. Yeah. So she is not a stranger to She's reality seasoned. TV. She's seasoned. Right. She was 18 when she had her first kid yeah. with her fiancé. They broke up. Then she very quickly got engaged to someone else. Levi. Was, no, Levi something. was the first one. Yeah. So then she quickly got engaged to her next fiance. Okay. And she had the other two kids with him. Right. They broke up. Yeah. Then they were going to get divorced, but then they got married. It's back and forth. It is. Yeah. I, I think it's going to bring it. a lot of drama. I think show. she should have been on the show. It's in Alaska. A, and I'll tell you this. She's in Alaska. She, she is. Yeah. Well, she was. I don't know if she She was. Is. Yeah. Um, the thing is, it's going to bring teen mom a little bit more mainstream Hell because yeah. people are going to know about it. My mom called me today to tell me about it. And that's why they did it because other people are, are finding out. Hell yeah. I can't believe she's going to be, I think that was such an um, awesome move. Power on move on TV. Yeah. Power yeah. move. The Cheyenne one. I mean, by Cheyenne. I, mm-hmm. I mean, what do you want? Already people that watch MTV I to watch Teen Mom? I wonder who will replace Janelle if Janelle doesn't come back on Teen Mom 2. Well, maybe that's why they're adding two. Or maybe they won't replace her. I don't know. Maybe maybe Cheyenne is replacing Teen Mom 2. Maybe. We don't know. All we know is those are the two that are coming back. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. what's going on. Cool. So, Exciting stuff. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for listening. And we'll be back next week. Uh-huh. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and you know what the most important thing is, and you know what I'm going to say before we go. You're going to say, um, Leave go, us to a review. go to Leave iTunes. Go to iTunes. Review. Five stars. Five star review. Five star review. Five star rating. Amazing review. Tell us why you love us, because we love you too. We yep. love you too. If you want to buy a sticker, we have some merch. You can Venmo me at Tracy Dash Carnazzo, $3 with your address, and I will send you a sticker right away. Mm. If you want a sticker for free, you can join our $5 patron patreon and become a patron and i will send you a sticker for free so those are the ways that you can get a sticker yay we're gonna have some more merch coming up we're gonna have some changes in the future so stay with us we love you bye bye